Hello, everybody, and welcome to another first look gameplay video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Tamarin, and let me actually open up. The music has just disappeared. Interesting, okay. We, that was a very short, uh, also the window appears to be broken. <laughs> we'll just get the, uh, the old steam up here to show you guys exactly what this game is. It is, first and foremost, by Chameleon Games. Thank you very much to Chameleon Games for reaching out and having me play the game for him. It came out a couple days ago on the 10th. Uh, I'm recording this on the 12th. I don't know if it's actually going to go up today. Life's been pretty busy, so it might be a few days before this video goes up. But it came out on the 10th on Steam. It's $40. Hopefully it uh, it performs and exceeds expectations especially in the time in the current gaming atmosphere in the current uh, political atmosphere as well as the, for the current real world atmosphere a 40 dollar game has to be exceptional to be worth it uh that's why it's fortunate to be in a position that i am but that's the reason i do these things is so that i can tell you guys whether or not a game is worth buying or not so we'll see what what tamarin is all about it is labeled as an adventure an action adventure platformer it's also labeled as cute, which as you can see, there's a bunch of ants on the screen. Reminds me of Jet Force Gemini. Uh, but the main character is like this little, little red panda gremlin looking dude. And he's, he is cute. I'll give him that. It says explore, leap, and shoot to save your family from the insect invasion. Leap with the agility of Tamarin as you, as you journey into the northern wilderness in a world full of exploration, 3D platforming, and bug splattering action. Let's jump in. Your memoirs will appear before you start the game. Look for a blue situation. We'll see what happens. It's, it is not mouse supported. So if you don't have a controller and you are looking into getting this game, it is not mouse supported. So you have to have a controller. Otherwise, you are not allowed to play it, which I think is a little bit, uh, little bit of a hiccup, possibly, in the development of the game. I feel like, especially in 2020 you should have access to whatever control means you, you desire. Whether or not the game is designed for it is a different thing, but you should be able to have access to whichever uh, control means uh, and input means that you, you should do. See, these are the Tamarins. I can already tell who I am because, like, different coloring. I'm definitely the red one on the, the left that's sitting down, probably, because he's got different coloring on him. I'd imagine that's our main character. We are in a... Oh, okay. Look at this. Oh yeah, very, very much getting a Jet Force Gemini feeling here from this. It's a little loud, but I'm worried about alt-tabbing to turn the game down because I tried to change the screen resolutions. Why are you shooting the birds, man? I, I tried to change the screen resolutions and the game crashed twice, <laughs> so... <laughs> on screen resolution change that was before the video started I, I i open up games to test and see how things are working uh some games i don't even end up recording because they just are not able to be opened this one was able to be opened and here i am i am tamarin look around jump roll your 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 basic basic controls for i mean it it's running solid it's running at 144 it's running beautifully can I stack rolls? Oh, no. Don't fall down there, buddy. Okay, I, I found my memoir. I collected a memoir. I see another thing. I see... I see... I see sparks from Spyro the Dragon. I also see a birdcage. And birdcage, I mean birdhouse. This birdhouse requires three birds. I currently have no birds. Okay. A little pan flute action going on, though. I mean... Yo, no, wait, 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 wait. Yo, even if the game does not live up to my, my expectations and my standards, I mean, it's pretty. It's running at 144. Anything with a pan flute. Anything with a pan flute is big for me. Those like insect, like, mandible faces. What are those things? So I'm just picking up there. This fire does hurt me, okay? We have 9 out of 10 HP. Now the music is good though, I hope. Wait, there's no options menu? That's a yikes. That's a yikes. Also, apparently you can kill birds? There's a little dead birdie down there in the right corner. What the heck? Oh, there's a birdhouse here too. Hello, Sparks. K 
Cave Dweller. Press and hold LD to lock on, then A to catch. I got him. I did it. Look how cute he is, though. Maybe it isn't as loud as I thought it was. There's also three birds. There's also three birds. I don't have any. Th I don't have any birds. Can I swim? All right, I can swim. At least they got that going for it. It's like, it's like some other 3D platformers. Well, what the frick? There's like floating glowing balls in there. Okay. I know I'm supposed to go over there. Oh! Look at that! Little dashy! He's so cute! Actually, I actually have to turn my headset up. I'm not gonna turn the in-game volume up because I think it is actually quite loud on the uh, on the recording side of it, but. Well, right trigger sneak and left trigger sneak. Okay, so that's. Oh! Little Kazooie. Little Kazooie backflip action. Then I go. Ee! Okay. I mean, this is. Things are. Things are definitely on fire, but I, I love me a pan flute, which is what I was talking about. I do love me a pan flute. I'm going to try and not jump out of the water like that, just because it might be super loud. I don't know. I do love me a pan flute, though. Get him. My eye itches. Oh, no. The music is dissipating. The frame rate is also dissipating. It's back. We have frame rate again. There was a very <laughs> major stutter there for sure, though. All right, so here's going to tell me how to do the big big flippy, right? No, spring more not activated. Okay, so it's a little bit of Metroidvania action. I got to have an item to do that. Okay. Got a memoir. I want to catch this dude. Oh, my God. There's a big old spider ant thing. The boss fight? I got him. He can't stop me. What's this thing? Activate. But jump into it? Nope, I just hit it. Okay. Bruh, the sound effects. Why are they so loud? So much. Why are they so much louder than everything else? The music is so quiet. Oh, wait, is this like a Super Mario 64? I go in and then I get to another level? Yes, it is. Okay, okay. It's an overworld with levels within it. We got a little banjo kazooie. It is. It is labeled as a 3D platformer, which is, you know, you're looking at games like uh, Super Mario 64. You're looking at banjo kazooie. I mean, it's very pretty. I I don't even know if it's capturing. It should be capturing exactly what I'm seeing, except for the 144 hertz. You're capturing it in 60. I'm capturing it in 144, so it's not going to look as good for you as it does for me. But, I mean, it is very pretty. It is very pretty, and he is very cute. We got bottles. Bottles the porcupine. Don't be startled. I survived because I hid down here. Utterly frightened and all spiked up. I'm on your side. Are you okay? I do like little animal noises. So sad your family taken away with the forest burnt down to your house demolished. You can't get any bleaker, can it? Indeed, the forest has become full of armed, brutal insects. They're building factories, expanding and polluting. So bad, I'll pop back down here until the world ends, if that's alright with you. I'm gonna just hit you with something real here, bottles. Or, pseudo-bottles. You are a porcupine. Porcupines eat ants. It just doesn't make canonical sense. If you were a ba well, actually, no, if you were a badger, it would make even less sense. If you were, like, a chipmunk, possible. But a porcupine, you eat ticks. And, and ants and beetles, that's the main part of your diet. We're in this together, distress furry friend. Let me give you a warm hedgehog. He's a hedgehog, not a not a porcupine. Okay. Everything will be all right. Well, we can't run heavily guarded forests like a sodding little monkeys, can we? Take this. I got an Uzi. <laughs> the porcupine just gave me an Uzi. Aim with the right trigger, or aim with the right stick and R to shoot. After a few shots, the rate of fire will decrease... Lock out objects and enemies above you. You see that switch over there, try locking it on and shooting it, activate the door. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, why, why? Okay. I can't shoot in the air. It makes sense. Can't shoot in the air. Does it make sense? I don't know if it makes sense or not. I also can't roll or do my flippy thing anymore, so like... I guess the combat situations are completely different than the other situations. Little we'll voice acting there. This once peaceful land from the army of invading insects. Sap crystals are loaded with energy. I also noticed there was a bird in that tree right at the start, so I guess they can get killed in combat. So we gotta save that bird. In occupied territory. Infesting the forest in Roman groups. Watch out for enemies above you. Take them out using the lock. Okay. Use checkpoints to save your progress. Mute the, the audio balancing is all messed up here. I gotta I gotta maybe fix that if I continue playing it. Little cuties. Definitely Jet Force Gemini. 100 percent Yo, music is popping off. I got a birdie. Oh my god. Yeah, music is popping off. Camera's real wonky, but okay. That's lookout mode, I guess. I get ammunition from the dead boys. Can't open this. So that's just yeah. That's just lookout mode. Okay. I mean, it's very minimal. Like the 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 game itself does not have like at least from what I'm playing here. Of course, I'm I'm very early. But it doesn't seem like it's got a whole lot of, like, clutter. However... Ooh. Let's snipe this ant. Aiming is very, very touchy. No! I thought it was an ant! Oh no! I'm sorry, buddy! No! No! Wait, so why- why would you teach me- Why would you teach me how to dodge roll and, like, roll through objects? And then immediately take away my ability to do that in the in the main combat scenarios. I don't know. Like, am I supposed to come back here later and roll through that? Because I'm not gonna lie to you, that is definitely a thing I can go in for sure. Like a million percent. Like you know, there's something in there. Maybe I lost my ability to dodge roll while I'm in combat, though. Man, I feel so bad. I just murdered that bird. Dude, he swooped at me, though. I can't be completely blamed. Like, he swooped at my ass. There's a checkpoint there, but what's over here, though? Another checkpoint. But it looks like a boss fight, for sure. Hmm... Maybe not. I mean, this does scream a boss fight, though. Only opens using rapid fire, okay. Who we got? Oh my gosh. What the frick? Ladybugs?
see what it was trying to teach me there. It is so loud. Hold on, I'm gonna actually risk crashing the game here. It didn't crash. We're good. It also does have keyboard and mouse support. I don't know what the heck they're talking about. Hold on, can I actually, like, it says... I don't know. Oh, shit. Okay, I don't know. Maybe we're just gonna do controller for now, because the aiming seems really weird on... Give me your big gun, dude. I can't take his gun. I don't do anything either. Dude, that guy took so many freaking shots. Man, this used to be just a cute, cuddly little... Ooh. This would be a cute, cute little cuddly, you know, rolling around and picking up things and... Now oh, it's a murder. <laughs> murder. Alright, we need a new weapon for that. A thousand percent. Like, if you, if they give you the intro of, like, I'm gonna roll around and do little cute little banjo kazooie hops and rescue my bird friends. Give me my new weapon, dude. I need. To, okay, so, okay, here's the, here's the loop. Who would have thought, little Emperor Tamarin? Your meekness is no weakness. You never give up. But it's dangerous for us, that's what it is, and I sure would like to beef you up. But it possible to ask you a favor this time? I collect things, little red things, just a few insect tokens, is that alright with you? A machine gun? Yes! For ten, co for ten tokens? Give me that machine gun, this gun holds rapid fire, but inaccurate firepower. Switch weapons with X, hold down R to shoot, let's do this, save your family, let's go. So then that ammo box down by that was specific ammo for this then. They've each got independent ammo. Makes sense. Okay. I see the cage up in this cave up here. I wanna, I wanna go save my buddy up there real quick though, if possible. There's gonna be a combat situation here for sure. I feel like I was. Mm, okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. If these are like bought assets, but I'm gonna hit you up. I'm gonna hit you up, Chameleon Games. Like, the gameplay loop so far seems very, very basic. And I'm not gonna lie to you. It seems very basic. It seems very much that generation of games. The Jet Force Gemini's in them. But. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Hopefully, it improves as we keep going through it, though. I don't know if the crates even have anything in them, so I'm just going to skip the crates. Also... Ooh, who's this man? Whose man is this? Now, can I collect their heads like in Jet Force Gemini, though? Because that would be sick. Because in Jet Force Gemini, you would collect alien, or you would c collect the ant head. Ooh! I'm a professional Tarkov player. Don't hit me with this controller aiming nonsense. <laughs> oh yeah, why was uh, spectate? That's right, or not spectate, but uh, first first person. Oh, I'm in the crate now. Who's your daddy and what does he do? I just wanted to bra branch, uh, branch back back to this way because it felt like I had a branching path, and I wonder if. I was potentially missing something. Oof. Good thing we just got a checkpoint, right? Are there light? Okay, I was gonna say, are there lives or is it like a save and restore system? It looks like it's a save and restore system.
That is quite a ways back, though. Aiming is real weird. Because it says it locks on, but it does not feel like it's locking on. It says it locks on, but it does not feel like it's actually locking on to anything. So we went up this way and we ran into a mine. The mine seemed like it was an insta-kill. Mine seemed like it was definitely an insta-kill. I, ke I keep switching my weapons because I'm used to... I'm like in gungeon mode. I keep trying to reload with X. No, 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 no! I wonder if there's a way to farm the guys with that amount of collectability. Also, can I shoot the mine on him? Yeah, that's... If, you, if it looks like I'm just, like, swinging my camera all over the place, it, it's not... It's not- I'm not intending to do it. <laughs> oh my lord. I gotta s adjust my seat! It's getting intense, my back's sweating. It's currently 3 o'clock in the freaking morning, Spelunky 2 comes out in a couple days. I gotta pump out some videos so I can give people a reason to <laughs> so I could have some kind of content before I only play Spelunky 2 for the rest of my life see I'm used to the whole like it taught me mechanics and now I can't use those mechanics which is really weird because like I was able to dash mid-air dash before but now it that mechanic seems like it's absolutely gone pistol ammo upgraded okay I don't like games that do that. Uh, that's a minor complaint. It's not It's not a major complaint. It's a minor complaint. It would take like maybe a .5 off of the score if I were to, if I were a score ranking person. Which I used to do. And then I realized that I didn't really care to do that anymore, but. It would take like maybe a .5 off of the score because I don't like a game that's like, Here's a it opens up by teaching you a mechanic and then immediately takes the mechanic away from you. Like, it's different in, like, a Metroidvania, right? If you think about, like, a Metroidvania, is this a shortcut? It is a shortcut. Okay. Okay, okay, that's a shortcut. I got you. If you think about the way a Metroidvania does it, a Metroidvania does it, but see, like, right there was a teaching moment. Right there it taught me that those doors that didn't have signals before were open from the other side. So that's an interesting way to teach you that that's how it does it. That's a good mechanic. That's how you teach somebody something. However, I also was just getting shot through the ceiling, I think. Uh, in a Metroidvania, when it teaches you a mechanic and then immediately takes it away from you, like, it starts you out with double jump and then takes away your double jump, that's a, that's a, that's a good way to do it. Because it's like, this is how powerful you are going to be. This one, it's like, hey, you can dash in the middle of the air and do a dodge roll. But then as soon as they gave you the gun, that mechanic was apparently gone. And maybe it's going to come back. Maybe once I clear this stage, it'll be fine. And that's something that we'll have to deal with when we get to it. How do I... I'm going to do it. I'm going to shoot the cage. Yeah, I don't know how to save this, bud. I don't know, I haven't learned the, the cage mechanic yet. Also interesting with a game like this, I don't know the appropriate stopping point. Probably when you finish the level. I'm assuming it's a level by level, because I just opened up a door and came into a an overworld situation. Yo, two birds? Two freaking birds, and I still don't know how to do cages yet? Maybe I need keys for the cages? I figured I would shoot the cage and it would break, but... It, do it doesn't seem like that's a... 
I don't know yet. I haven't, I haven't figured that one out. But let's switch to our... Oh, it's ammo upgraded. So it's, it's got, it used to hold 150. Now it holds 200. Okay, so that's what the ammo upgrades do. It doesn't make it stronger. It makes you hold more. I went down there before. Let's go back through this way. Is this where I came? Is this where I came in? I could have swore this is where I came in. There's no map. These crates aren't broken, so I'm assuming I haven't been here before. No, that's my checkpoint. Well, whatever, let's go back through this way. Can't be too much I'm missing, and this is where the shortcut was, right? At the top of this hill. Pretty sure, is that the shortcut right there? That's the shortcut right there, because that's where Bottles was. Okay, so let's go back. And then that's gonna loop back around to where we are now, because I went through that thing, and I'm assuming the cage to my left is gonna be... the next area we need to go to, because the kid... Wait, no, this is where he is. Oh, he upgrades with 20 this time. Okay, let's go back up there. He upgrades with 20 now. Okay, he has a new upgrade for me, because... What's he gonna give me this time? Maybe he's gonna give me a way to open cages. Are you saving? There's a lot of birds stuck around in ant caves. Would you like to refill all your ammo? I pay. Bro, 20 to refill my ammo. I think I only was missing like 10 bullets. That's okay. I should have said no. That's a mistake on my part, but I'm... I'm, I'm only doing... First impressions. More machine gun ammo. Saved a lot of birds. Ooh. It's a machine gun upgrade? Ah, 250 now instead of 200. I wish it was actually making my, my bullets do more, but maybe that's something down the line. Clearly this is a... Okay, it's another one of these. But at least I got him. It's a space invaders. Oh boy. Oh dear, they do. They do a lot of damage. They do a lot of freaking damage. That's for sure. I just maybe I maybe I'm glad that I got my ammo <laughs> capacity upgraded. Why was I? Why did I switch weapons there? Am I just seeing things there? Did it look like he was trying to save the help the bird? He put his gun the ant dude put his butt his gun down. He didn't like look aggressive at all. Maybe I'm the bad guy? Nope, I'm not the bad guy. I'm just I'm just seeing things wrong. Clearly not the bad guy. Different ammo gun or type there. Clearly not the bad guy. Also missed that, unfortunately. Apparently, I didn't walk through it the first time. There's another bird in a cage here, man. Okay, so I get an explosive gun at some point that goes through those because that's that ammo type right there, I'm sure. I can't believe I'm playing this for 30 minutes already. That's crazy. Where's his gun? Where's his gun? Where's my ammo? Where's my ammo? Give me my ammo, boy. Okay. You can't hide something from me over here, devs. Trying to hide something from me, devs? Trying to hide something from me, devs? Look at that, I got a nugget. Health capacity increase, HP upgrade, let's go. It's so cute. I love games that are so simple and yet just pretty. You know, this is a very pretty game. Oh! like ragdolls. Even though they they melt away, they've still got ragdolls on them. 
Okay, okay. Hmm. Music's really good, but a little repetitive, if there's a minor complaint there. Alright, watch out for birds that just randomly fly down into you, because that's apparently what they do. Make sure it's an ant before you shoot. Because <laughs> that bird, the only bird that died so far, just like aggressively flew into me. Okay. Is there a secret? No. Ooh. I love 3D platformers like this, man. Brings me back to like the good old days. Makes me really excited that they're gonna be doing the, the 3D All-Stars for Mario, even though I'm sure they're gonna mess it up somehow because Nintendo can't do anything right. Train of Forest completed, 22 minutes and 22 seconds, 11 out of 19 birds, one dead. Okay. So, oh, frame rate drop there again. A little hitch, back to 144 though. So does that mean I'm done with the level? Because this is not where I went in. Back. I don't have a springboard. Oh my god, bottle bottles, you scared the piss out of me. Don't ever do that again. You made it past the na nasty ant army up ahead is a freight amount, a peaceful mountain. You'll need to climb this cave to get there. Wouldn't it be easier if you had all the heavy weapons weighing you down? Not a frog in sight, but a leap leap and tamarin. It'll be a lovely sight. Oh, please let me see a springboard. Wait, my weapons, yes. Well, you can get them back for me when you get in any dangerous places. Yes. See this cliff edge? No. Nah. To get there, stand near the opposite cliff edge, hold down left, and then press A. When you get to Freedom Mountain, climb the mountain and meet me at the top, I'll wait for you there. Okay, so he takes away my guns. Gotcha. He takes away the guns so I can go back to cute mode. But then how do I get back to the main area with all the bird cages or bird houses? And how do I free freaking dudes from bird cages? Oh no. Bruh. Put the sand in a specific spot for that, or can I do it from like anywhere? Oh, I guess it's probably a specific spot then. Yeah, you gotta wait for the arrow to pop up. That's a little, little cumbersome, but... All is fine and good. In a 3D platforming world, you can't really blame them for that. I don't know what the heck the point of going over there would be, but... Oh yeah, let's go. So now we're in Freina Mountain. There's a beetle! Alright, I see bottles up there on the mountaintop. Berries. So of the currencies there are in the game, there's berries, dragonflies, ant pieces, and birds. I haven't killed any birds according to the HUD, even though I definitely murdered one in cold blood. <laughs> I definitely murdered a bird. Can I put birds in here? Yo, what does that do though? Hello, cutie. Wait, they give me a dragonfly. Okay. I think. I think I get it. Oh, dear. So he said to give me get in touch with him and there's more dangerous places. Wait, oh, I can climb. I didn't know I could climb. I also found a pineapple. 
All right, Bubbles, where the hell are you? Or Bottles, excuse me, not Bubbles, Bottles. Can I can stand on you? Nice. Bottles. There's beetles trying to kill me, Bottles. Bottles. Never mind, I'm actually fine. I can take care of myself, buddy. Yo, oh, poggers. Bro, oh, I, what am I doing? I can dash in the air now. Hit it. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, okay. I get you. I see where you're going, Tamarin. I see where you're going with this. It's classic 3D platformer type type nonsense. You hit the button, it spawns a collectible, you gotta rush to get the collectible. Except this one seems significantly easier than collectibles I saw on other 3D platformers growing up, but I got it, hey. And by getting it, it spawned a dude, okay. There's a snake! Okay, but now, did the dude spawn back over by the button now? Are we going like classic, classic 3D platformers? On this nonsense? Did he spawn back over there? Let's find out. He didn't. Where the heck did he spawn? Hmm. I shouldn't know where he spawned, but I see a memor memoir back here that I might have missed. Where did the dragonfly bro spawn? There's a snake! Oh, he ain't, he ain't messing around, boy. Where'd my dragonfly go, man? <laughs> Am I stupid? <laughs> I might be stupid. Oh, I mean, I'm not so stupid, game. Developers. Is this a climby wall? Nope, but I know for certain I can go up in there before- Oh, I have a swim meter. I have a swim meter, how long I'm able to be in the water before I, uh, presumably stop existing anymore. Yo, where the heck did my dragonfly bro go? I might just have to, I might just have to make an executive decision here and call it, because I'm not seeing any more checkpoints, but... It's been 40 minutes. That's usually, that's significantly longer than I would normally go. For these let's look at type videos. Where... Where on earth would my dragonfly boy be? Oh my god. There's a whole bunch of beetles over there. Secrets? Well, huh, just another birdhouse. So bottles has got to be up here then, right? Gimme. We'll see if we can get the bottles up here, and then we'll probably... Oops. See, I knew what I had to do there, because they just taught me what I needed to do there, but... I didn't do it. Little wood clompies. Little pitter-patteries. Bro. Nope. Uh He fudged it. Where's my dragonfly? Where's my super suit? Oh, no, no, no. You don't do that to me now. Jump. Didn't work the last time I did it. I'm just gonna jump over the snake. Alright, bottles. 
What you got? I'm inspecting you. Helpless little critter. No, 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 you are not. Let me tell you, I've been craving red berries for so long. It's going to be a long journey, and chance you could get me any little red red currants? Yeah, absolutely. You've activated the springboard. Jump on it with A for high locations. I got this bouncy plank here to help you. Spring up in the air. On to the next mission. The deserted ruins over there. You think they're deserted? They can't. You can think again. It's a real tiny level. Underground. That's where the insects live. Crawl up from below. Crawling over below, the insect queendom kept multiplying and yearning for more, consuming, conquering, possessing without concern for other living things. They started pushing beautiful places and animals out of existence. We can't let that happen to us too, can we? I don't know, everything else down there is trying to attack me. Screw the animal kingdom, honestly, Bottles. We're the only good guys. Everything else is trying to hurt me, not even just the bugs. I mean, I guess those guys are also insects. They're, they're beetles, so I guess it makes sense. I'm getting cold feet. What are they doing there? Maybe their fireflies could show you a safer way into this. Maybe the fireflies could show you a safer way into the secret world of insects. They're so mysterious and enlightening. They're insects too, I wonder. So I will look around the ruins. Let's meet up again there. Ta-ta. Okay, so he didn't give me my guns. But I can go in here for, for sure. Bruh. I just missed out on a firefly for no reason. Stoink. Yo, a black Karant. Give me back my firefly. <laughs> ah, <laughs> my little dude. Right, right there. That's thumbnail. <laughs> probably not let's be honest i'm probably gonna use something else for the thumbnail but anyway that's gonna do it for tamar and if you guys enjoyed let me know what you think of the game in the comments down below leave a like and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already my name is penta hybrid thank you chameleon games for the opportunity to look at the game would i say so far from what i've played that it is worth a staggering 2020 amount of currency known as $40. I would say it's probably not worth $40. Going off of what I've seen, probably not worth $40. Uh, maybe $15 to $20. Just because it, it, does, it seems a little light on the content, but that's just me. That's just me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm absolutely wrong. I could be wrong. Oh, there's my dragonfly. He's up there. What the sh... How did I... How did he, how do I, how do I get up there? Wait a second, hold on. You know what, no, 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 we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed the content, of course, let me know what you think. And uh, that's it. Tamarin, out now on Steam, $40. You decide whether or not it's worth that. I gave you my thoughts. I don't think it's exactly a $40 game in the current uh, climate of games considering there are games out there that are $30 and $20 that I think have way more of a replay value. But if this is something that you definitely want to play, maybe you're getting some for your kids, I don't know, and they want to play a game like this, bring you back to that nostalgic 3D platformer type of game. You decide. I'm just the guy that plays it. Thank you, Chameleon Games, for the access to the game, and thank you guys for watching. I will catch you in the next one. He is an idol of animation, and he fell asleep. It's adorable. We'll catch you guys later.